and was like, I don't, I kind of don't want it to air, you know? I want to keep it to myself. <laughs> I just want to stay here and start a new life. And you're the guy that needs no introduction at all, Tom, from uh, 10 seasons on Vanderpump Rules to starring in season three of Bravo's Winter House. I hear that, um, uh, we're in for some craziness, if you will, this season. In fact, I was at BravoCon too, and when Alex Propson said that anything involving you is kind of crazy, I we all believed it. So how does hearing that make you feel? Do you feel like anything involving you is crazy? You're triggering my PTSD. <laughs> um, no, it was an intense year all around. Um, with filming and outside of filming, and my personal life, and um, yeah, yeah, it was a wild ride. Winter House, was like a spiritual cleanse for me. I gotta be honest, it was one of the most welcomed retreats of my entire life. I'm talking heaven sent, divine intervention. And I, 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 I'm madly in love with that entire cast. And I'm so grateful that Kyle invited me to come. And um, the timing just could not have been better. Uh, I've been wanting to go to Steamboat my entire life and to get to go there and, and film a show with these people that I fell in love with. It was just, very sacred. I'm a little precious about it. I got to be honest. I'm very precious about it. The most amazing. I, I, I almost didn't want it to air. I know that's selfish because it was, we talked about this together as a group at BravoCon. It was very sacred. And we're like, I, I kind of don't want it to air, you know? I want to keep it to myself. Because those memories were that that endearing and that intimate. Yeah. You and uh, Below Deck's Katie Flood, you have a romance <laughs> on the current season of Winter House. guys that I kissed him. Let's get this record straight. He kissed me. It just happened. I thought a straggler. Uh, uh, one minute you're just sitting there laughing. Next minute, your tongues are locked and I like it. What <laughs> was it about her specifically that attracted you to her? Um, I, I, I sort of said this so many times, but she's obviously beautiful on the surface, but she has like a she has a great sensibility. She's self-deprecating and she's really funny. Um, she's, and she's got a lot of humility too. You, you know, I don't know. I don't want to stereotype people, but lots of times people very good looking. You don't always expect a lot of humility um, mm -hmm. and self-awareness, but she has all of that. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. We just kind of like, yeah, we have kind of got a little spark going and we had some chemistry. It's like after 10 years of doing reality TV, I, I never think about the cameras. I'm not aware that we're filming and you know there's no filters and i just let loose but like with with one exception one caveat when it comes to like hooking up or intimacy that's the only time i become hyper aware oh my god we're filming people are gonna <laughs> see this i don't know what it is about like making out or hooking up intimacy in general i, I still like that's the only time i become self-aware we're doing reality tv <laughs> um did i want to know did you stay in touch after filming i mean after you get a spark like that I imagine the flirtation continues or did it, did it dissipate for you? Um, I mean, I think we're really good friends. Um, yeah, I, we haven't like friend zoned each other, but you know, we stay in touch. We have a group chat with the entire cast that we literally text with each other every single day. Did your ex Katie Maloney say anything to you about this winter house romance that you had with Katie Flood? She was very supportive and um, I don't know, somewhere in the back of my mind, I thought she was going to be annoyed or just disappointed that I, you know, on <laughs> had a romance on camera. Even though by that point, we had been separated for a year. And a, again, a very healthy, amicable separation. Okay, there was a, <laughs> a few bumps along the way, <laughs> if you watched last season. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's all love with me and Katie and I'm always rooting for her. And she's crushing life right now and, uh, it makes me happy to see her just driving, you know.